Okay, so this week I'm probably going to be doing the last hard thing for now of Ender Twingler before I have something that I can like actually build on top of. Um, the transformation stuff. Last week I got the core handlers loading and everything in Ender Twingler is a handler. And now this is just a really sort of naive um, algorithm that just loads the handlers in order and uh, then uh, just pulls them. And the first one that returns a result that is not 404 or 405 um, is the result. And so the handlers are sort of plugged into a, they're just plugged into a list and it goes down the list, list array, it doesn't actually matter at this in this uh, context. Um, it is an array. <laughs> it's a list on the, in the, in the configuration, it's array in the actual running program, but uh, so the original idea, or not the original, original idea, but the idea that I was going to have vis-a-vis -vis handlers was this thing that I'm calling a manifest protocol. Manifest. And the idea with, behind that is that since each handler is a microservice, Um, and that responds on like at least to at least one URL with at least one um, request method. I want to have a kind of, and I don't really know if I'm going to do like URL then method, then handler. Or if I want method then URL, then handler. Um, I haven't figured out what I want to do about that yet. Um, I think I might do, well, I mean, it really, it could be either. Um, but the idea is of some kind of like resolution index. Um, and then the idea behind that is uh, that this polling this the polling can go away because of this manifest protocol. So the idea was is that like every handler will publish a manifest and you get it by doing option star prefer uh, I think it's return representation. Ooh. I'm writing this sideways. Um, so yeah, check the prefer header. But the idea is, is like this will give you the full list of everything that the that the handler takes care of. So and that's just sort of like that will be the intersection of of, of addresses and request methods. And like some of the addresses will be prefixes, others will be terminal. So like if uh, uh, you know you get slash foo slash bar, um, it'll be able to say that, oh no, no, there's nothing under slash bar, say for example, or there is something under slash bar, but we're not gonna explicitly say because there could be some huge amount of things. So that's kind of the idea behind prefix or you know, uh, containers we'll call them because prefix gets used for something else. So that's just like a Boolean. And so, and then there's parameters. Um, which, yeah, we'll have to figure out like how to represent that. So that's kind of this idea, this manifest protocol. But this structure, I'm gonna need to do the transformations. And so like where I'm at right now 
is I need to um, decide, figure out like how I'm going to represent, uh, or you know, like I'm already loading handlers out of the graph configuration, so I moved all the configuration in the graph database. I use this um, ITCV vocabulary. That's intertwingler configuration vocabulary that, I, and then a TFO. That's transformation functions ontology. So these two vocabularies um, are necessary for configuring intertwingler. Um, I'm going to probably be overhauling the TFO one and maybe adding a couple things to the ITCV one in the not too distant future. As by that I mean this week, um, but. Uh, what I've got to figure out, so I've got to figure out, like, so the transformations, so the um, the harness, ooh, let me just move that down. There we go. So we got to, concepts like, so the harness is what I did last week, or the week before last week, because it was last Sunday, not yesterday, that I got this, this, all this stuff up and running. And the, reason, the thing for the harness was the harness does the multiplexing. So it does the initial bootstrapping configuration, like where is the graph database? Uh, what port do I listen on? That kind of crap, like the harness does that. Um, and then the engine, so there's an engine for each domain. Uh, each domain plus its aliases, I should say. Um, and then there is a resolver inside of each engine. So initially what I had, I noticed before I had this, the plan to put everything in the graph, all the configuration in the graph, the engine sort of, and the harness were the same thing because the engine had multiple resolvers at one point. But, um, the problem was, is then when I moved all the configuration of the graph, you have potentially multiple graphs. So like where are you, which one are you getting the configuration out of for your engine? And so um, I made it so that the engine can only have one domain or one authority plus its aliases. Uh, and then now an engine only has one resolver. Um, but then it's like each engine has queues and it's got, a, it's got handlers and queues and transformation queues. And so that's, and then the transformations have, have individual transformation functions and these have parameters. And so I also have a parameter registry, which is a separate thing that I wrote back in like September, I think, um, that can actually handle data out of the graph. And so all of everything below the harness, everything under here needs to be loaded out of the graph and like put into some kind of a data structure. And then the question is like, how do we represent that? And, uh, and how do we actually do it? I mean, that's not going to be so, so tough, but, um, the idea is like, so I have everything engine resolver handlers and the initial handlers is temporary. So we'll just star that, this guy. Um, but if I came up with this structure, I'm not gonna do the manifest protocol right away because the idea behind the manifest protocol is you can have these like hot pluggable things. So like it just pulls the thing and it incorporates the contents of it. And like that's gonna require deciding how that's gonna work and all a bunch of infrastructure code for it. So I don't want to do it quite yet, but um, that, yeah. So the idea behind that is to be able to have like heterogeneous handlers and different programming languages and stuff. So we're going to get there eventually, but we're not going to do that right away. But I think what I need to do is I need to sort of figure out this structure because the, um, the, Transformation queues have individual transforms. An individual transform is just represented as a, it's just a method, it's just a function. Like it literally is just a function. It might have some state though. Um, and so they have actually, the transforms actually have handlers. But all the transform stuff already knows, like it's always gonna be post and it's always gonna be these parameters and it's always gonna be these uh, handlers. 
and the handler is the is the class, and then the the actual function is the method in uh, uh, under that, and then there's just like things that resolve internally into those classes that resolve the URLs um, URLs into methods. Um, but we're supposed to not have to care about that. That's supposed to be all black box. Um, so this thing in the sort of internal representation of like what the result of this manifest protocol would generate, that's what I've got to do today. And so the handler idea is, is like, if that part's not populated, it's just going to pull, but, but there's a shortcut if it knows. If it knows, then it can use the shortcut. If it doesn't know, then it pulls. That's going to be the, the, the next deal. So yeah, one of these URL uh, request method to handler or method request method to URL to handler um, is going to be the, uh, the mapping on that. So that's going to be today's job. Uh, anyway, I'm going to finish my coffee, which is now cold.